about the world starting to understand what divine love is all about and actually receiving it and actually transforming, allowing it to transform their lives. That is what's going to change the world. And that's what's also going to change every single person's misconceptions of true Christianity. Like, like the way I see Christianity now is that it is a gross distortion of anything that I ever taught in the first century. And as a result of that, it has its own fruitage. And you, in one of the illustrations that I gave in the first century, I said, you will recognize the tree by its fruit. So, so, you know, you go up and pick a pear off a tree, you know it's a pear tree, right? <laughs> Let's pick the fruit off of the so-called Christian, 2,000 years of Christian history. What do we see? War, pain, suffering. War, pain, suffering, oppression. Like, what kind of fruit is it? Right? So can it be what I taught? No. It can't be. Does that make sense? So, so let's start living what, what it, God wants us to live, which is this love, which is the divine love entering us, transforming us, and our reflection of that love to the world. When we start living that, we will change the world we're in. And all of these misconceptions, all of these falsehoods, which at some time will be addressed, will all be addressed quite easily because there will be hundreds, if not thousands, if not millions of people on earth in an one condition with God showing to every single other person, Christian or not, what that really meant. <coughs> yeah, and that's how it will all change. Yeah.